Franks are like cream spinach. They're easier to dish out than they are to swallow. The Prank King strikes again. Shocking. <laughs> Guys, sorry about trying to prank you. Shake? Uh, sure. Huh? Weird. Tell me about it. Put it there, buddy. Apology accepted. What's wrong with this thing? <laughs> <laughs> Mail call. This one's addressed to the prank king. Well, at least somebody still respects royalty. Enjoy the pie, Stank King. Your non-pal, Butt Squat. Brains by Butt Squat. Harsh. You wait, there's more. Pie goes great with ice cream. <laughs> Do they know who they're laughing at? I'm the Prank King. At least I was. I want my prank mojo back! Coming. Yank the pranky? All right. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Hanky Pranky, the pixie prank master. A pranking pixie? Awesome! So, you say you've lost your prank mojo. Yeah! i do anything to get it back. Repeat anything! Did you say anything? Twice. You're in the right place, then. I am? Oh, that's right. First, you've got to free me by reading this. Huh. Hold it. Why are you trapped in there in the first place? It is a long story. Too long. OK. But you got to swear you'll help me get my mojo back. Oh, I swear, all right. Uh, um, hanky, pranky, stinky, stanky. Come and prank our camp so swanky. <laughs> yeah, won't drink red face. Awesome! Let's do this! <laughs> prank lesson one, the old classic breath of fresh air gag. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah! The prank king is back! <laughs> Not bad, but it could be better. Observe. Uh, isn't that a bit mean? Hey, it's just a joke. Don't you want to be the greatest prankster Lake Bottom's ever seen? Whoa! <laughs> High five! Come on, don't leave me hanging. <laughs> Hello! Need a little help here! <laughs> Prank lesson two. The Who Wants a Snack Attack never fails. <laughs> huh? Oh, nuts in a can. Finders keepers. <laughs> <laughs> Go pranking. Go pranking. All right. You got me. <laughs> ah, nice sticky. Oh, no. Real snakes? That's not cool. You want to be prank king or what? Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so not funny, McGee. <laughs> it's not funny. It's hilarious. <laughs> you see what I did there? High five. Prank lesson three is worthy of a true prank king. <laughs> Hit it, boy -o. <laughs> Gosfish. <laughs> that was epic! Hanky! <laughs> Easy on the pranks. Those are my friends. Oh, 
You're not gonna give up now, are you? I thought you wanted to be Prank King. I don't want to be Prank King if it's done with pranks like this. So pack up your gag bag, you pranking pipsqueak. You're fired. <laughs> You think you can get rid of me that easily? <laughs> Guys, I am so sorry. We don't want to hear it. Your pranks used to be fun, but now they're just mean. No way. I can explain. Well, you see, what happened was I was walking and I'm... Good and I'm... Grinch! Heads up! Shark! We're tired of being targets! <laughs> Shame on you, McGee. Shame, shame, shame. But it wasn't me. It was him. What? Pretty funny. Must be very proud of yourself, huh, McGee? It's a pranking pixie, dude. I freed from a tree. No! Stop that shark! <laughs> I like it here. I think I'll stick around. <laughs> <laughs> What have I done? <laughs> you bottom dwellers are more fun than a barrel of stink bombs! Oh, oh come on! <laughs> <laughs> Ew! Ooh, that's some hanky stanky! <laughs> I'm out of here. I gotta face it. The only way they'll be safe is if I leave camp. And I'm not coming back till I find that pixie and end his pranking for good! Trust me, guys, I'm not the one doing all this, but I'll fix it, I promise. Right! Hi! Get out here, Hanky! I had to leave Camp Lake Bottom because of you! Did you know? <laughs> oh, I very funny. That does it! I'm gonna put you back in that tree where you belong! Hanky, pranky, stinky, stanky! Go! <laughs> Listen up, laddie. I didn't get released after being trapped for a thousand years just to be a sidekick to a prank king. The scroll only gets me out. You gotta outprank me to get me back in. Well, then I challenge you to a prank off. I win, you go back into the tree. But if I win... Can I get the picture? Deal. Ah, you'll never beat me. I know every lame prank in your book. You're nothing but a washed-up prank tank of failure! Oh, it's on! Oh, yeah? What about this one? What? Prepare to eat canned snake! <laughs> Hilariously lame! How about this one? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I know you're around here somewhere! Ow! <laughs> You guys believed me? We realized that you could never pull off those pranks. It had to be a pixie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna prank Camp Lake Bottom back to the prank ages! Yeah, that makes no sense. Makes sense of this! <laughs> yeah! You think you can slip away from me? <laughs> Do you have to split? So soon! <laughs> Does anyone know how to steer a banana? <laughs> Maybe I can beat the ultimate prankster by doing exactly what he expects! Lamest pranks ever! <laughs> <laughs> Come on out, bottom dwellers! Pranky will get you sooner or later! <laughs> we surrender! We surrender! The true prank king won. Shake? Hold the whoopee cushion. You really thought you could get me with that joy buzzer? Put some effort into it, boy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Pranky, take this! Oh. Uh, how about this? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's it! Not my snap hat. Hello, Sasquatch Wetty. <laughs> <laughs> Is it funny? No, it's he hilarious. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. You'll pay for this, McGee. That's pranking to you. No! Oh. 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 
Pranks a lot, McGee. The prank king is back. Well, thanks. But a king is nothing without his loyal subjects. You said it. High five! Don't leave us hanging. <laughs> Don't! Mom, I finally made something in the kitchen, and believe me, it was to die for. We got pickle juice. Yes. Slug trail. Nice. Uh, moose butter. Sweet. Kitty litter? No, Gretch, never use kitty litter. It'll dry out the slime. What about the secret ingredient? <laughs> <laughs> Maximum sweat achieved. Ah! <gasps> Eureka! The perfect slime! <laughs> Sunny Smiles won't know what hit it. <laughs> or what slimed it. What was wrong with the other batches? Too corrosive. Way too laid back. Too radioactive. But why? Hmm, I smell pickle juice and slug trail. <laughs> Rosebud's coming. Door! <laughs> Evidence! Hide it in the fridge! <laughs> Doesn't like cold. Got it. Forget that. Let's dump him here. Uh. Hurry! Dump it down the drain! <sighs> What's going on, Dindale? Oh, nothing! Whoa! Ah! Yeah! Whoa! Whoa! What are you doing, Dindale? Uh, yeah! You aren't making slime, are you? Maybe a little. Slime is dangerous. Whatever you do, don't mix the slimes. Now, no more slime. Okay, you got it, Rosebud. No more slime. Oh, well, guess I'll have to forget about my dream prank to slime everyone. Slime everyone. Slime everyone. Slime everyone. Watch me! Watch me, guys! I'm gonna do a dive! Guys! Guys! Guys, watch me! All right, let's review. Inflate the whoopee cushion, butt splat dives. It goes... <laughs> Questions? Confirm sound after dive is... <laughs> Affirmative. Sound is... <laughs> Roger that. It's my destiny. Whoa, <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> Yo, Gretch! Snorkel time! Oh, right. Henrietta, I told you no tag-alongs! This is a serious mission! Uh, McGee, I just saw that happen. Uh, me too. N no, I saw it before it happened. I got a bad feeling. Let's call this off. Sorry, Gretch. Once the camo's on, it's on! Watch me! Watch me, guys! I'm gonna do a dive! Guys! Guys! Guys, watch me! Here comes the cannon butt! Splash me, and I'll kick your cannon butt all the way to... <laughs> I better not find any videos of this online! Seriously! <laughs> oh, I saw that, too! I, I don't want to go psychic psycho here, McGee, but, uh, we gotta get out of here. Oh, chill, Gretch. Everything's gone according to plan. Uh, is that part of the plan? <laughs> Have a problem. Eject! Roger that. Whoa! No! Oh! Oh! McGee! I should have known. Ew! You covered my camp in snot? My slime break! And they say wishes don't come true! Nice try, McGooey, but you missed. Ouchie! Oh, best present ever! I can't believe you guys pulled this off without me knowing. Uh, we didn't do this. And we definitely didn't do that. Slime, everyone! Slime, everyone! Slime, everyone! Uh, maybe not the best present ever, but still in the top ten. Now, swim for it! Uh -huh. ah! Are you campers all right? We saw slime again all the way over here. I warned you, campers. I've never seen anything so sublimely disgusting. I need a style fix. Stat! <gasps> oh, no! It's happening again. Slime destiny. Slime destiny. Red! 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 Thanks, McGee. 
but uh, you could have just tapped me on the shoulder. Oh, and by the way, it looks like Susie's getting it next. <gasps> that slime's not slamming my sister! I gotta warn her! Although that's really funny. <laughs> Susie! Susie, open up! Oh, where is that towel? I'm coming, Suze! Unlocking the door would help any time now! We're here to save your luminous skin! We're too late! Susie's <gasps> already been slimed! What? It's just no name moisturizer. I'm slumming it here. Phew! <gasps> Stand back! Slime could be anywhere and everywhere. Lurking in here? No. No, all clear. Whoa! Paranoid much, baby brub? Slime is serious business, sis. Rosebud, anything out there? No slime here. Wow! Slime, everyone. We're all toast, but you gotta admit, I am an awesome slime maker. Slime, everyone! We're trapped! If I could just get to my mower! Here, Petunia! You can come on, girl! Well, it was worth a try. Come on it, Sawyer! Just put your pedal to the metal and lower it! Now, guys, jump! Sunny Slimers? Slime, everyone. Save yourselves, Camper! Sawyer! Step on a catch! We salute you, great zombie! Slime, everyone. Ah! This is it! Of course! Slime can't handle the cold. Or the clumping. Quick clump, kitty litter. Slime's kryptonite. Time to suit up. Zeus, it's go time. Uh, looks more like Manny Petty time. What? I'm not spending my last moments on Earth with gross feet. Slime, everyone. On second thought. Quick, guys, to the sewers. We need to find the source. <laughs> Good thing these suits are slime-proof, huh? Susie, where are your boots? I have to let my nails dry, duh! Woo! Ew! Uh, what creepy thing is happening now? Ew, 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 ew! <gasps> I'm everyone! Susie! Hey, from McGee! We can't help her now! Clump, don't fail us now! Ready, aim, fire! Fresh lavender for the house with more than one cat. It's working! They're statuified! Wretched, but my fur is delightfully rejuvenated. My greatest prank down the drain. 
strain. Hey, while we're down here, we might as well get ingredients for my super mega stink bomb. No! Ah! <laughs> Dear Mom, Gretchen's new friend sure gave us a warm welcome. to change my underwear. You, you want to see? That just proves you ate too many horse flying bean burritos. There's no way Gretchen can out-freak me. Boo! <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Oh, yeah. Hot and free champ in the graveyard, yo. That's my third underwear change today. <laughs> oh, make that fourth. Hold on, hold on. You didn't freak me out. I was just, you know, practicing my high jump. <gasps> Careful. It's not old Preston's fault you lost. Uh, lost? Who says I lost? Easy, guys. According to Gooey's Graveyard Guide to Ghastly Ghosts, negative energy makes spirits testy. Let's all think happy thoughts. I'll start. Boo, jelly bean. I'm thinking of, uh, raising you guys back to camp and me winning. Aw, oh, McGee. Sorry there, Preston. <laughs> hey there. Are you Preston? Yeah. <laughs> Shoot! It's okay. He's gone. Not so into cats, huh? <gasps> Don't feel bad. I'm afraid of chipmunks. <laughs> True story. But listen, I won't tell if you won't tell. Come on, Gretchen! Easily beating you is no fun unless you try. Sorry, Preston. I've got to go hand McGee his butt. Thank you, Gretchen. Don't sweat it. That's what friends are for. Hands <laughs> that Gretchen eater! Pull my head! <laughs> Record time. Booyah! <laughs> Woohoo! Still number three! Ooh. Hey, anyone, anyone else feel that cold breeze? Yeah, it's McGee's ego deflating. <laughs> oh. oh, hello. Shh. <laughs> Is your ego ready to back that up with an arm wrestle? Really, dude? You know how this goes. What's the matter, Gretch? Afraid these pythons are gonna bite? <laughs> You're on. And go! <laughs> One, two, three, four! I declare a thumb war! Uh oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, skip off! Check it out, Gretch! Ha! You must be quaking in your skipping boots! Oh, man, what's it gonna take? Ow! <laughs> oh, I see how this is gonna go. If you can't beat them, prank them. Come on, McGee. I didn't prank you. Well, who did then? Squirt? Not me. I'm I'm in the floor. Think what you want, McGee. I'm gonna get some shut eye. On the upside, buddy. You are on a perfect losing streak. Yeah, fine. But tomorrow will be <gasps> prank payback. <sighs> Whoa! What the? Good news, campers. Soon we'll have two shower temperatures. Cold. And I see. Oh, just what I've always never asked for. <laughs> oh, someone got up on the wrong side of the tree. And just wait till I get to... <laughs> oh, prank war is on. Nice one. Extreme sculpting is not for the timid. Don't be afraid to dive in. Sounds good to me. One dive bomb coming up. <laughs> Sorry, got the wrong Gretchen. <laughs> I admire your creative birth. Hmm, not what I'd planned. For the poltergeist. Relax, Armand. Everyone, allow me to introduce my new ghost pal, Preston. Pleased to meet you, Preston. I knew you couldn't beat me without help. <laughs> I can so beat you, but you wouldn't quit. So I let Preston teach you a lesson. Mm -hmm. I don't need lessons. You're the one that needs to learn some skills. Me? No way. My skills are way better. They are not. Our two, McGee. Are not. Our so. Uh, our uh, show. Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 guys, uh, remember bad vibes and ghosts? Not good. Look at him. He can too. He's a powder keg of ectoplasmic rage. Never. Yeah. Cookie. Cannot! Can do! Cannot! Who clearly enjoys cookies. I, you know, I, I was...
was full anyway, really. Uh, and whatever keeps him happy in a non-green, ectoplasmic rage kind of way. Relax. <laughs> we can have some friendly competition with no more secret ghost help. Right, Preston? <laughs> then let's settle this. Preston and I challenge you and Squirt to... Bully Batman Ball! Okay, wait. Put the emotionally unstable ghost into a highly competitive situation? I'm in. Oh, get used to that zero, McGee. It's the only score you'll get. As if. <laughs> hey! Oh, oh, wow. Gretchen, remind your partner no invisibility. Preston, no ghost tricks. We can beat him fair and square. Okay, Gretchen. <laughs> <laughs> nice, Squirt. Yeah. Got it. Oops. Slimy, that's one for Team McGee and still zero for Team Gretch. Nice try. Ah. Oh. Ooh, Team Gretch and Preston failed to communicate. Two zip. Oh. Yeah, baby, nothing but net. <laughs> Got it. Oh, yeah. Goodbye. Oh. Who's the best? Mm. We are. Um, we are. Uh, uh, not me. <laughs> Negative energy. Not good. You're not the best, McGee. You're just lucky. I'm just choking. Ow, 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 ow. Times like this, I wish I had more cookies. <laughs> Happy dog, people! <laughs> Preston's afraid of cats? Gretchen told secrets. Seriously? A ghost afraid of cats? <laughs> I knew Preston had such a fiery personality. Oh, I, I did. <laughs> uh, guys, I'm about to go from medium rare to well done. A little rinse will do ya. And now for the spin cycle. <laughs> Thanks, I think. Now let's all just calm down. Preston! Cool it! Gretchen Roy, but keep me bad friends! <laughs> That's definitely the opposite of cooling it! Fire! There's the fire! <laughs> yeah, I knew I was a hottie, but. <laughs> Yikes! Extreme wardrobe malfunction. Excuse me. Volunteer Chief Sawyer on the job. No need to panic. <laughs> that little panic wouldn't be out of place. Bucket Brigade. Keep them coming, kitties. We gotta cool off Preston or uh, we'll all be burnt toast. How about a cold shower? I'm on it. Cover me. Right behind you, camper. <laughs> Ready, buckets, and fire! Cross that one off your bucket list. Also, run! Oh. Ah, Gretch, a little parched down here. We're working on it. Let's hook this baby up. Uh, got it. Sorry, camper, going down. Well, at least I wasn't burned again. And now for our resident hothead! We can't get through the flames, they're too high! Preston, I'm sorry you're mad, but Gretchen really needs your help! Gretchen? Yeah, Gretchen, our friend! Help! Gretchen! Thanks, friend. Uh-oh. We made it! Brilliant! <laughs> <laughs> but where's the impossibly cute Highland... You can do it! <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
much better friend to us than we were to you. One, two, three, four. Preston declares the war. <laughs> Ow! My thumb. Sawyer taught us about the history of Lake Bottom, and it really came to life. Okay, I'm confused. Is this fort part of Old Camp Lake Bottom or Old Camp Sunny Smiles? Both. The two camps used to be one big camp. Sunny Bottom. I worked here. Wow, wow really? Really? Hello? Hello? <gasps> Madame, do not panic. Help is on the way. <laughs> Perhaps not for some time. Just how old are you, Sawyer? A zombie never tells. Besides, I still got a good brain inside. <laughs> My noggin. Guys, a little help here. <laughs> zombie earwax. Slipperier than a slipped oyster slider. Whoa. No wonder his brain keeps slipping out. <laughs> <laughs> Check out the cool lid. Careful, camper. Legend has it a spirit haunts this hat. His spirit. General Butt. General Butt and I were counselors. Ahem. I wanted a camp where campers could have fun. <laughs> but Butt wanted the whole place to be one big no fun zone. We decided to settle it over a friendly game of capture the flag. Church! But he turned it into an all-out war. Finally, I captured the flag. But Butt wasn't a good loser. <laughs> After that, Sunny Bottom was split in two. My camp Lake Bottom and General Cheetah Pants is Camp Sunny Smile. Liar, liar, zombie pants on fire! <gasps> General Butt won fair and square. So this is my fort, my flag, and that's my great, great, great granddaddy. And one more great, because he's so great. Old Cannonball Bum here fled the battle, and Lake Bottom has been Loserville ever since. That's not true. Old Cannonball Bum fled the battle, and Lake Bottom has been Loserville ever since. Well, maybe it is. Except for the Cannonball Bum part. Listen up, Bottom Dwellers are not losers. How about a rematch to prove it, huh, Buttloaf? And when we win, you fly the Lake Bottom flag at Sunny Smiles. Fine by me, McGonna Lose. And when you lose, you admit Bottom Losers are the loseriest losers that ever lose. Deal! <laughs> like we're ever gonna lose. No, campers. Not capture the flag. It does terrible things to people. Relax, Sawyer. It's just a game. Am I the only one using my head? This baby needs a seatbelt. This game is dangerous. The flag flies in my fort, where it belongs. And when we capture it and hang it on Sawyer's statue, we win. Street rules, no holds barred. But no pinching. Got it. No butt cheating. No modern tech. No moving the flag. Oh, and no wet willies. Bye. Prepare your loser engines for full throttle loseringness. All right, you heard him. Today we restore the honor of our camp forefathers. Now who's with me? Charge! I don't have any other plans. Everybody's yelling! Brett, you take point. Squirt, you keep watch. Questions? Oh, oh! What do you get when you cross a vampire and a snowman? Frostbite. Anyone else? Hey, how about a nature hike? Far away from any place with flags or cannons. Ah, uh, later, Sawyer. Kind of busy here. Squirt, diversion time. I've been waiting all my life to hear that. Toes. These 
a dancing baby yet. What's it like to be so close to losing, butt breath? <gasps> Bottom Raiders, alert! One size smacks them. <laughs> Ooh, snazzy. Got one with sequins? Coming up with a side order of not losing. <laughs> hey, no fear! <laughs> so close and yet so lame. Ah! Ah! Thank you, Gretchen! <laughs> you know the rules! <laughs> no tech! Rules are made to be followed by losers. We are not <laughs> losers! Launch me, Gretchen! <laughs> I'm a tough act to follow. I'm fine. No thanks to butt cheat. <laughs> no, it can't be. N -n 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 not you. You bet your knob is on the knees. It's me, General Butts, back <gasps> and your lily liver camp for good. Wow, I didn't think to add a no evil ghost rule. Retreat! <laughs> Loser. <laughs> Only a loser likes being a loser. <laughs> 
I'm way happier here. All alone. With my flag. Hey, guys! Wait for me! I want to be a loser, too! <laughs> Dear Mom, you always say playing too many video games isn't good for me. You may be right. Whatever, Zomboid. Who wants physical activities when you can play game but 3D? Holographics, mega sense around sound, and Nozorama smellow spritz. Mmm, <laughs> barbecue dragon breath. So you have a smelly 3D game. Big deal. Bet I could beat it. Drool on, McLamo. Camp Sunny Smilers only. Hey, Butt Brain, check out our 3D game. As if Camp Loser Bottom would ever have. <laughs> Go! A little too 3D for me. That goal rot, Gretch. Yeah, but Squat's ribcage would agree. Surprise! We know you like that butch thing, silly game. So I threw together a few bits, bites, and bolts. <laughs> Chaos at Camp Pixel Bottom. Poetry in digital motion. Cool. Oh. Okay, me first. Hey, I want to try. Econ bananas. Wait, wait. Let's do this fair and square. Hold it. No take back. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. You know it's a hit. <laughs> when they're too excited to thank you. Pick a player and get through three levels of Cat Pixel Bottom to win. But watch out for the Squat Boss. In the third level, his Thunder Squat special attack will leave you smarting. Have fun, campers. Okay. Yeah. Watch the frog stool. Power up. Beg all you want, McCoober. You're not playing game, but. Hey. Shh. He's going for high score! No way. You bottom snoozers have an arcade game? Bottom dwellers only, Buckgoof. Who needs your junky old game? I've got my game butt. Oh, yeah! Aww. Yo, McGee, we want to play too! One sec. I beat level one and two, but level three is brutal. <laughs> ah, squad boss destroyed the whole camp. All that's left is Sawyer's cabin. <laughs> I will have revenge. At least you got bonus points. Watch and learn. Come on, Gretch. I just need one more play to beat Squat Boss. Can I play while you guys fight? No, no way. way. Let's go. Let's go. Aw, you guys broke it before I got a turn. <laughs> Game show makes with a loud booming and ding-a-linging. <laughs> Time to obliterate McGee's high score. Okay, what pathetic character will I have to be? Lame, lame, lamest of all. <gasps> Squad boss. Oh yeah! 
I get to smush bottom dweebers? This game is cooler than I thought. Hey, look, a new player. Who do you think it is? <laughs> Prepare for annihilation, bottom dweebs. System glitch. Squad boss doesn't show up till level three. Put on your bibs. <laughs> I'm serving up a digital smackdown with a side of loser sauce. Incoming! <laughs> by an essential food group. Gretchen, are you all right? For now, I've got two lives left. But how do we fight exploding carrots? Just follow the master gamer. <laughs> now we're cooking. Ah. <laughs> Give it up, you crummy old game. Time to level up. Bonus points! Yeah. <laughs> no! I can't be beaten by cheap 16-bit graphics! <laughs> What's happening? Uh-oh. I think the game wants a rematch. <laughs> Bigger! Better, squattier! Camp Pixel Bottom is gonna get blasted! <coughs> Squad Boss thinks he's still in the game, which means. Let me guess, he's gonna destroy the whole camp! Hey! Enough with the video game racket, huh? Huh? Oops, sorry, continue with whatever it is you were doing. <coughs> well, Master Gamer, you're the one who played. How do we beat Squat Boss? Yeah, about that. I was this close to figuring it out. Can't his Sasquatch snooze in peace? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, I'm a better programmer than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you, McLame Gamer? Over here, Bitbutt! <laughs> Someone's about to get McSquash! <laughs> Don't forget your daily requirement of budgies! Yeah! Those points are dropping like flies! Serve me up a stinky one, Squirt! Ready, set, strike! <laughs> yeah! Huh? That all you got? Carrot attack! Carrot retreat! No! <laughs> Gretchen! Noobs! The game isn't over yet! It almost is! We lose one more life and we're toast! You can run, but you can't hide! <laughs> <laughs> Squad Boss is destroying everything at camp! Not everything. He hasn't blasted Sawyer's cabin! Hmm. <laughs> the generator! We just have to cut off the game's power source. That could work. By destroying Sawyer's cabin! Well, I guess I'll cancel my new futon. I've got lives to spare, so cover me, guys. With what? We're out of carrots! Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> no worries. I still got two lives to go. One life left! Okay, now I'm playing for real. Ooh! Bye bye! Cookie! No! <laughs> you are officially owned! Maybe, except for one little thing. Cookie's bonus points! I impossible! Bonus life! That's what I'm talking about! Yay! Butt squeak. Up, back, up, up, left, left. Mm -hmm. Kick, kick, punch, punch, punch. Come, Come on, up, look. Super combo. Spin, jump. Pixel butter power. <laughs> oh, I got the moves now. Speed roll. <laughs> so predictable. No, you don't, Mick Pip Squeak. Thunder Squad. Well, 
I guess my wiring won't pass the next inspection. Has it ever? Somebody got a new high score. Way to go, campers! Not bad, McGee, but I would have beat you if I got my turn. Forget Pixel Bottom. <laughs> Who's up for a real game? Anytime! <laughs> game over. <laughs> Dear Mom, my pal Squirt is having a growth spurt. Got any giant-sized underwear lying around? Oh, uh, it seems like we've been walking for days. Man up! We've been walking for 47 seconds. I'm hungry. Can we stop for some toe jam jerky? No time for snacking. We're almost there. <gasps> Found it! Feast your eyes on the rarest plant in the world. The Bolognese cactus. It blooms once every 100 years, and time's almost up. <laughs> it's more beautiful than I ever imagined. Okay, everyone gather around for a keepsake photo of the giant... <gasps> meatball! <laughs> but it could use a little sprinkle of cinnamon. No! I know it's not your conventional meat product seasoning, but... That wasn't for eating! No, spit it out! Spit it out! <laughs> Stop that tickles! Oh, the humanity! Not to mention the strange, terrible side effects. Wait! Uh, what kind of side effects? Brain explosions, facial warts, extreme foot odor... <laughs> Maybe nothing happens. No one really knows. <laughs> now I have to wait another hundred years! Oh, okay, back to camp. <laughs> Excuse me. Mmm, meatball-y. No itchy bumps, brain swelling, smelly feet, or mutant hunger for human flesh? Don't think so. Then it looks like you're okay. Ow! <gasps> That's funny, guys. Who lowered the door frame? Now that's a side effect. This is the kind of side effect I can work with. Ah! Hello, personal space. Ah! First you destroyed a bolognese meatball, now the cabin? No chocolate covered maggots for you. Ooh, I feel a breeze. We've got to cover that giant butt. <laughs> Nice short squirt. They are a cat snug. And now for my triple backwards swan dinger with a twist. Yeah! <laughs> we Loving the new look. <laughs> Cactus meatball. Hey, we're just happy it wasn't from the back end. Yeah, that could start an earthquake. <laughs> <laughs> Check it out! Walking the dog around the world. Yeah. Huh? I am the yo-yo man. I don't know how they got a giant squirt, but I know how I'm gonna get one. <sighs> <sighs> Oops. Sorry. <laughs> no problem, big buddy. Excuse me, guys. I got a big call. Well, looks like Mega Squirt's got to do a Mega Squirt. <laughs> I gotta admit it. More squirt equals more fun. Yeah. I think it's gonna wear off. Maybe in a week, maybe a hundred years. A hundred years? Give or take a decade. Who knows? Time for lunch. I hope he doesn't want seconds. Occupy! Gotta go! <laughs> Gotta go! <sighs> hey! 
Hey! What's a 50 foot guy gotta do to get some privacy around here? <laughs> Contact. Who's taking squirts so long? 20 times bigger, 20 times more pee. Oh! Hey, watch where you're stomping, buddy. What's up with the dorky hat? Yeah, and why does it have a butt squat on it? Hey, bottom squishers! Your giant is mine now! Say goodbye to Mega Squirt and hello to Mighty Mega Squad! Hey! Leave our giant buddy alone, butt stink! Come on, Gretch. Let's get rid of Squirt's headache. Squirt! It's Gretchen and McGee! Don't you recognize us? Squash those bugs, Mega Squad! Ah! Mm -hmm. What's a zombie got to do to get a little privacy around here? Ah, smack you later, McGee! Well, I enjoyed being average height while it lasted. We've got to find a way to help Squirt without getting stomped! Well, there is a little project I've been working on. We got a giant robot? I never got around to finishing it. Finished! This is gonna be awesome! Let's fire this baby up! see a few kinks that need to be ironed out. <laughs> Behold, Mega Squad! This is so cool! What the...? Okay, butt sneeze! Really, Squirt, or feel the fury of Mega Bottom? I thought we were calling it Kick Butt Board. Wasn't it Junk Bottom? Robo McSuckum Bottom. I just call it Wilbur. Well, 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 if it isn't McGee and his dweeby friends inside a robo hunk of junk. Whatever, butt sneeze. Feel the fury of the... We're gonna need a bigger robot. Ha! Let the crushing commence! Squirt, no! We're your friends! Don't squash us! Huh? Okay, bottom dwellers, our pal needs us! Activate turbo jump! Turbo jump, jump go! So I can mega squish you! <laughs> no problem. Activate Mecha Sword! We don't got a Mecha Sword. What? Oh, wait, I've got an idea. Mecha Sword, go! <laughs> Goof! Ah! 
Actually, I meant to say two, but one sounded cooler. <laughs> it's working! Man, I'm hungry. Any more meatballs? <laughs> Did I miss something? Uh, not much. Just Butt Squad using you as a giant destructo machine. <gasps> Me? Well, that's just not nice at all. <laughs> <laughs> you may have defeated Mega Squad McGee, but now my giant robo butt is ready to stomp! Leave our camp alone, you robo jerk! Yeah! I will have Robo! <laughs> Mega Squirt 1, Butt Squad 0. Now that you're a normal size squirt, I suggest not eating any exotic meatballs. Yeah! Now be a good bottom dweller and grab a hammer! This camp ain't gonna fix itself. Activate Mecha Hammer! No? Let's go bottom dwellers! <gasps> Dear Mom, met a cool girl at camp the other day, but there's something fishy about her. Everyone to their positions! It's time to run the play! Here it comes! He shoots! <laughs> and boom goes the dynamite! The outside game is over! Time for inside game! I call washing the dishes! The dishes? No fair! That's the worst game ever! Remember, this is not the fun toy. So, have fun. <laughs> but not Mr. Sinkos. Rosebud's right. This isn't a fun toy. It's a super fantastic fun toy. Don't even think about it, McGee. Well, think about what? This <laughs> or this? Or maybe a little bit of this? <laughs> Incoming! Woo. Look at me! I'm Santa Claus! <laughs> You can run, but you can't hide. Who's hiding? My turn! <laughs> oh. ah. Hey! Get ready for the rinse cycle. Squirt wins. Is it just me, or is that trunk acting kind of weird? Should we open it? What's that, Gretchen? <sighs> What's in it? Uh, it just looks like old junk. Water! I need water! <gasps> it's a mermaid! What is a mermaid doing in a trunk? Who cares? It's a mermaid! I mean, a light mist is fine. My name's Esmeralda, the, um, really nice mermaid. Why are you in a trunk? Well, Rosebud and I are old friends, and I'm here to surprise her. Were you hibernating? Sure. Could you, perchance, take me to a lake? Yes, we can. Hey, guys, check this out. Unhand that at once! <gasps> I apologize. That's, uh, the gift I got for Rosebud. I just want to make sure it doesn't get lost. We can totally for sure take you to see Rosebud. No! I need time to prepare her surprise. I would hate to ruin it. And no one else can see me either, or they might tell her. Okay, secret trip to the lake it is then. All clear. What's it like being a mermaid? Great. Are there mermen? No. Can I be a merman? No. When we get to the lake, do you want to play basketball? Sure. How do you go to the bathroom? Ew. Gross question. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Uh, sorry, mermaid tails are surprisingly slippery. Hang on, I have an idea. <laughs> Has anyone seen my underwear? Hurry up before he sees us. Water, I need water, water you little darlings. Wait here, I'll be right back. <laughs> uh, it's not long enough. Thanks, Billy. Hmm, something's wrong with the water pressure. Have you seen my underwear? Water? Ta-da! Have 
have no fear, Squirt is here! Give it to me, you fool! <laughs> okay, okay! Enough with the hose! Uh, uh, I mean, thank you for the refreshing spritz. Wait, I forgot something. Say seaweed! <laughs> something you see every day. I know. Slimy usually takes the bus. Thanks for setting me free, fools! <laughs> We're still on for basketball, right? <laughs> She's on your team. <laughs> but I thought you were here to surprise Rosebud. Fools! Soon this entire camp and everyone in it will be mine, including Rosebud! Too bad you can't leave the water, flippy, flippy, feet, fishy, flipper! Okay, so that's not my best burn, but uh, you get the point. But I don't have to. Rise! 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 Once the camp is flooded, there will be nowhere for you to hide! I recognize that tail thwap anywhere! We've got mermaid trouble! But how did she get out of the tonk? <laughs> oh, figures. Esmeralda! I stopped your reign of terror once, and I will do it again! And you won't stop me this time! This time, I will rule the world! No! Who's that? Trun! What's a trun? Ah! Oh, drunk! Quickly! Silence! Locker and get whatever diving gear you can find. We're going to the trun. What's going on? Where's Rosebud? Table mermaid. Rosebud's an eel. Flood. Take over the world. Looks like we got bigger problems than your lost underwear. You guys stop the water and save the camp. We're going to fight the mermaid and rescue Rosebud. Yeah. How much of that did you get? Not much. Then let's do it. Book of Evil Creatures. Let's see. Marshmallow Man, Maniacal Clown, you know, Maids, comma, disgruntled. Aha! Mermaids! What's it say? What's it say? Some breathing room, please! Thank you. To defeat an evil mermaid, you must catch her and dry her out? How are we gonna do that when she's flooding the whole camp? Hey, guys! Look what I found! Rosebud, we're coming to save you! We better hurry! I think it's working. I think you're right. Ah, so cute. Wait, did McGee say there was a mermaid? Evil mermaid. Well, you won't get away with this. Oh, don't be so crabby. Ah! I wonder, could I have something a little less, um, pinchy? Ah! So cute. Nah. I have some pesky children to deal with. What shall I turn them into? <laughs> Even if we find her, how are we going to get her out of the water? We just need to figure out a way to get her in the air. I got it! Remember the balloons from Sawyer's Happy Being Dead for Another Year Day? Yes. Good party. I like that cake. Let's get the air tank and the biggest balloon we can find. I have a plan that just might be crazy enough to work. Looks like I've got you in a dead end. Well, I guess we'll just have to see about that. Now! <laughs> Hate to pop your balloon, kitties. Well, that went well. No problem. I have another plan that's even crazier. We'll use this rope to lasso her around the tail, and then once we have her tied up, we... Figure it out from there. 
Sounds good to me. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Now! <laughs> of happy. Well, you wouldn't know it from the mug on this guy. Okay, exception to the rule. <laughs> Look at me! Look at me! I'm in the circus! Great idea, Squirt. Let's hang this in Armand's cabin to remind him of how much he loves the circus. And then, ta-da! Free circus lesson for us! Ah! Not the circus. Anything but the circus. But circuses are, are full of fun and, and popcorn. Everyone loves fun and popcorn, right? True, but I don't love heights, vertigo, forgetting to open my eyes, screaming, falling, screaming while falling, and then there's doofus. Hi, who wants to fly? Her boys having bubble trouble. So trap easy now, is it? <laughs> Clowns are really mean and bony. No wonder Doofy's so sad. Well, I know what'll make everyone happy, especially me. <laughs> and remember, the number one rule of tightrope walking is no falling. Whee! Falling, no falling, no falling! And you fell. You just have to think like a squirrel. Let your nuts, nuts and nuts. Who's ready to create bead magic? No, I beg you, stop this insanity! Whoa! I knew you couldn't stay away. Welcome to McGee's Magnificent Mini Circus. Starring you. No, 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 no way. I mean, no. I have to, um, shampoo my fur. Seriously? Fine. I'm scared of the circus, and I'm even more scared of doofus. Clowns are like spiders. They're more scared of us than we are of them. Except the really hairy ones. They'll make you poop your pants. Uh -huh. No, thanks, Squirt. But I just can't shake the fear. Sometimes I still hear the of his horn. That's weird. I can hear it, too. No, it can't be. Ah! Ah! Doofus is the name, and clowning around is my game! Flowers for the lady? Oh, thank you! Oh, 
Wow! <laughs> Good one. And no ringmaster is complete without a touch of class. Cool! How? <laughs> oh, man, my bouncy old buddy. Ain't life weird? You just popped into the old noggin and whammo! Here you are. So you're not here to get revenge? <laughs> revenge for what? My broken funny bone? <laughs> Nothing more hilarious than a broken funny bone. <laughs> Thanks, fur boy. All right, all right, enough sappy stuff. Doofus, what do you say to teaching us some circus skills? <gasps> it would be my honor. Let's get cracking. <laughs> ah! Oh, new friend, new friend! Presenting Gritch the Gritch-tastic! <gasps> Forget the umbrella. You're a natural tossip. Whatever you say, clown boss. Now let's add a little bounce to this act. <laughs> oh, uh, that's it, too bouncy! <gasps> I'm coming, Gretchen! Doodle down, doodle down. Ah, I'm looking down! I'm looking down! <laughs> Ooh, you're right. Clowns are bony. There's a few better soon, Balloon. It's a poodle. Arf, 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 arf. Hang on tight, Lewis. Remember, just switch bikes in midair. It'll be crash-tastic. I don't think this is a good idea. You're right. It's not a good idea. It's a great idea. I can't watch. Ready, set, smash! <laughs> I mean, go! Be careful, oil you might slip. Stop, stop! Okay, circus is over. Pack up the tent and say bye-bye. Armand, please don't send Doofus away. We only need to do one more spectacular act. Please! Oh, if I agree to perform, do you promise to forget all about this crazy circus once and for all? Oh, oh, cross our hearts. hearts. And hope to fly. Fine. Let's get this over with. <laughs> yes! We're ready for the big job big time, Doofy. <laughs> Let's put on a killer show. <laughs> Presenting, high on the trapeze, the falling bottoms. Shouldn't that be flying bottoms? And on the ramp, the doomed daredevils, Gretchen. You mean daredevils of doom, right? And her partner, Balloon Guy. <laughs> Don't you mean Balloon Guy works? <laughs> Now for the most dangerous show on Earth. In the last act, you campers will ever perform. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, dear dummies. Don't keep me waiting! Armand, remember how you said Doofus is evil and I said, nah, and you said, no, really, he is? Well... <laughs> no, I know. I was so right. Now let's get out of here! <laughs> Balloon Cat says turn that evil frown upside down. Also, meow. He was only a kitten! You scared for the stunt? How about some chickens for the chickens? <laughs> Pack on somebody your own size! Gretch, kill that cannon! Oh, it's pleasure! <laughs> you little whiners can't stop me! Can't take your call. They're all tied up right now. <laughs> Riddle me this, Armand. Why did the chicken cross the camp? Ah, a clever variation on classic roadway humor. Would it be to get to the other side? Wrong! <laughs> to pack your campers to their doom. <laughs> what? That's not even a joke. No chicken chum of mine would ever. Oh, Lewis! How could you? <laughs> You guys are the hottest act in town. Get swinging, for the chicky keeps pecking. Your choice. 
Now! Get swinging! Uh, looks like we have no choice. Uh, don't do it, guys. Doofus is so unfunny. It's not even funny. Aw, oh, I don't tickle your funny bone. Well, maybe this will give you a laugh. A Sasquatch with a bad haircut. Armand! If you don't catch me, we're going up in flames. Ah! Ah! I did it. Did you see me fly? Payback time, you flea-bitten shag carpet. <laughs> Not the spandex, sir. Uh, how about this, then? Oh! <laughs> Armand, you're on fire. We'll be on fire if you guys don't hurry. <laughs> <laughs> Getting back that sweater I borrowed, Lewis. Oh, and your subscription to popular mechanical chicks? Consider it cancelled! <laughs> Come on, Armand! Ah! What? One order of rubber chicken to go! <laughs> Actually, this is kind of funny. <laughs> oh, 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 the flying Bigfoot still got it. <laughs> this calls for an encore. <laughs> oh, yep, clowns sure are bony. You haven't heard the last of me, Alma. <laughs> Lewis, how could you? <laughs> Dear Mom, the first rule of Fright Club is... <laughs> Great! Power's out! Aw, oh, I hope origami class isn't cancelled. <laughs> oh, looks like a definite possibility. Seriously, only a maniac would be out in this weather. It's howling louder than a werewolf choir out there. And all camp activities are canceled till further notice. Aww. Brought you a monster flashlight. It's like a regular one, only with extra creep power. <laughs> See ya! We're officially cabin bound. Then it's time for Fright Club. <laughs> <laughs> What's Fright Club? We each tell a spooktacular story and then vote on who will be the Scream King! <laughs> <clears throat> or Queen. Ah, Queen Squirt. Yeah, it has a nice ring to it. Well, you first, Squirt. Okay, um, this story is called, uh, The Boy Who Cried Tripper. Once there was a camp full of hugs, flowers, bubbles, and rainbows. Super-tastical day! Huggy times! I so do not talk like that. You do in my story. But there was one monster so cranky, the campers quaked at his name. The Dripper. I heard his nose is runnier than Fuzzy Wickle eggs, and his cough is rougher than recycled cactus teepee. Fuzzy Wickle? Seriously? He only comes out when the weather is as nasty and trippy as his mood. Ah! Dripper! Okay, you gotta try harder if you want to prank the prankster. <laughs> they say that on stormy days, you can still hear him moan. Dripper. <laughs> Takes more than a boot-napping monster to scare me. <laughs> Boots? Okay, my turn. This story will curl your toe hairs. Brace yourselves for Don't Let the Dripper Bite. 
If you don't stop biting your nails, the dripper will bite them off permanently. Huh? Why? They're perfect for itchy feet. Yeah. That's the stuff. I'll chillax. The dripper's just a story for little kids. Oh, yeah? Well, just wait till you hear the chatter of the dripper's iron jaw. Hmm. They are chewy crunchy. Hey, hey. Don't let the dripper bite. Your nails off! Ooh, I'm so scared of your made-up monster. Finger food and dipping sauce. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll never chew my fingernails again. But toenails are okay, right? What gives? They're already chewed. Fine, here's a story that'll blow your scream valves. Can you handle... I know what I did this summer, because I was totally there. It was pouring rain, just like now. Huh? Heads off, mortal enemy! That umbrella is mine! <laughs> you will not touch the umbrella, for it is clearly mine! Then we shall battle for it! Victory! kicking dripper butt, as if you could. You know, maybe we shouldn't be telling scary stories. Why? Because I think they're coming true! I call weak sauce, with lame sprinkles on top. Dripper. Dripper. Nice try, McGee. Points for sound effects, though. Guys, that's not me! Seriously, McGee, joke's over. Whoa! Oh! Oh! Sawyer! <laughs> it's only you! Wrong, boy. Dead wrong. Dripper! I've come a long way, and I won't stop till I get what I want. Oh, look, he's got my boots. <laughs> and now he wants my fingers! How about a face full of feathers instead? <laughs> like being inside a snow globe with a deranged monster! Come on, bro! Give me what I want! <laughs> Phew! He'll never look for us here. Uh, I wonder why. <gasps> I don't get it. The Tripper's now real. We made him up, didn't we? Sawyer said this was a monster flashlight. So maybe it's turning our stories real. Warning, stories told by flashlight may result in eerily similar events due to extra creep power. Hey, what if we tell stories about how nice the dripper is? Squirt, that's genius. Let me see. Oh, um, once upon a time. Ah! Give me what I want. Once upon a time, there was a sweet, no way maniacal. Oh, got it! That's not what I want! Go with escape plan two! Number two. How appropriate! Wow, that's some umbrella. Hey, the power's back on! Ooh, things are getting better! <laughs> or not! I don't get it. What does that dripping, sneezing, coughing, teeth chattering maniac want from us? Dripping? Sneezing? Coughing? That's it, Gretch! It's not about what he wants, it's what he needs! Come on! Wait for me! Ah! Or don't.
plasticky briefs. Give me what I want. I have no idea what you want, but if it's a shish kebab camper, oh, then I guess I'm it. Hey, looking for this? My umbrella. The doctors will see you now, Mr. Dripper. Please take a seat for your examination. <laughs> Deep breath, please. Uh... <coughs> Symptoms are fever, stuffy nose, and drippy disposition. Mm, we prescribe hot fluids. Uh... And here's a steaming bowl of rosebud bok bok soup. Makes you squawk. <laughs> Ah, much better. <laughs> How do you know this would work, Dr. McGee? Wet, sniffly coffee monster? This story practically writes itself. And I believe this is yours. Oh, thanks. I, I hate getting colds. <laughs> but I feel better already. All hail, Dripper, the undisputed Scream King. Woohoo! Huggy times. Wait, did I just say that? <laughs> Thanks, guys. But if you want a real scare, you should hear the one about the lift bottom jaw jammer. No! Dear Mom, lately Squirt's been acting kind of spaced out. <laughs> Smash potatoes. Pass the gargoyle gravy, Squirt. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Earth to Squirt. Come in, Squirt. Huh? Sorry, Gretchen. Here. It's like living with a stinky pipe organ. <laughs> you think Squirt's acting extra weird today? Uh, you know, I've seen worse. One time he let a python swallow him to get back Sawyer's wrench. Here you go, Sawyer. <laughs> See? He's just tired. All right, top bunk for me tonight. If you say so. Night. Squirt? Uh. McGee, wake up! Squirt's gone AWOL! But I like whipped cream in my boots. I, what? Oh, well, I probably just went to the outhouse. Whoa! Mm -hmm. Okay, is there another outhouse we don't know about? from the planet I call home. Scoopiter! Wow! Have we met? Your nose holes look surprisingly familiar. I sent signals across the galaxy and finally received your response. That's a song that's been stuck in my head. And my butt. All hail King Squirt, heir to the Scoopiterian royal Squirt throne. Wait, royalty? Maybe. But an alien? I think we would have noticed that. Have you not noticed the king's unending supply of personal gas? <laughs> a trait long documented in the Squanton royal bloodline? Also a trait long documented after eating chili burrito ice cream? I shall prove it beyond a doubt. Let the royal squatesting begin! Only a true scoopitarian king can stomach the foulest, most disgusting food on my planet. Oh boy! <laughs> Tastes like chicken. Oh, with top notes and toe jam. <laughs> <laughs> That's all there is. Apparently, you have a superior constitution. Squatest 2, can you escape the squadreaded squametal squeezer? <laughs> also, fun at birthday parties. <laughs> Ta da! Nice work, Houdini. <laughs> Bravo, my liege. Only a scoopitarian can achieve such supreme bendiness. <laughs> <laughs> 
because I was triple jointed. Squat test three, my personal favorite. Taming a wild scumiba. You humans may want to avert your ocular sensors. This could get squishy. <laughs> Please, a single celled organism. You are. Yes, you are. Only a true king knows the squamiba's foot is its tickle spot. That's a foot? Wow! It looks like you're alien royalty. Hey, don't forget us little people, Kingy. Now, will you come to Scoopiter to accept our planet's greatest squander? <sighs> Gosh, I, I really hate to miss Armand's extreme quilting, but... Oh, what the hey? Oh! Yeah, still putting the woohoo on hold. Wow. Sure gonna miss you, pal. Just thanks, Quirk. Soon you'll be living the royal high life. Riding in stretch saucers, hanging with alien reality stars. Surprise! We got you a little something to remember us by. We washed out most of the stains and signed it on the scroochy end. I just hope the latrine doesn't back up while you're gone. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Smells like home. Squirt? You don't have to go. You can stay and smell home all you want. I'm sorry, but a king's gotta do what a king's gotta do. Hi, <laughs> guys. Hi, Hi. 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 Are we really okay with this? I am. Mostly because I've got a plan. Come on, Gretch. I'm never going to see my bottom butts again. <laughs> I'm afraid not, my liege. Perhaps an in-flight snack will ease your discomfort. Never say never. Nice. Hiya, Squirt. Foolish stowaways, you must go. I shall call you a squat taxi. No, Squat. As king, I hereby decree they can come along. As you wish, my liege. Let the squat ceremony begin. <laughs> Wow! This throne comes with pinchy accessories! Hey, what's with the big squeeze? Kings tend to get a little squidgety when it's time for the sacrifice. Sacrifice? sacrifice? <laughs> sacrifice? You never said anything about a sacrifice. Oh, didn't I? Squilly me. We throw all our kings into the Squipitarian squan. <laughs> we have arrived! Now your boundless supply of royal squamethane will fuel our squan for another squant in year. Put it back in squat screen! Nobody throws our royal pal into the sun! Yeah! Back away from the control panel, Squanty! Uh, what manner of weapon is this foul smelling squashing thing? Ah, yeah. uh, I do not understand! Are you not squatter to be sacrificed? <laughs> what can I say? I, I squat burn easily. <laughs> Excuse me, stress too. It's okay. I'll get you out, Squirt. Now, uh, what does what here? I. <laughs> You know, normally I'm great at pushing buttons, but... <laughs> oh, well, that wasn't so bad. Here, let me try. Oh, we have got to get one of these for the cabin. For the sake of my planet, you meddling humans must be... Squiminated! Be good earthlings and let the squamoeba absorb you so I can get back to the sacrifice. Hey! Sawyer's gonna want that back! Ah! No. Hang on, guys! <laughs> King Squirt is coming! Come on, just a little bit! There! Thank you, freakish joints! <laughs> the squad is about to go out! What do two meddling earthlings matter when our whole planet is at stake? Everyone matters to me, especially my pals. Take a tickle. <laughs> I feel like a movie theater floor. Ah! For my squan to survive, I must have your kingly squan methane! <laughs> a minute. Why didn't you use your own extendable eyeballs 
to overpower mine. Maybe it's because Earthlings don't have them? Told you, Squirt wasn't an alien. That means I'm 100% bottom dweller! Extendable eyeballs, the one squat test I neglected to administer! Great squat! The squat is going out! My beloved Scoopiter is doomed! Doom doesn't sound good! No, it doesn't, but those farts sure do. Well, it ain't over yet, Squanty. Squirt may not be an alien king, but he's still got plenty of gas. Here, Your Highness, prepare for a squamethane transfer. Sure, but I, I just need a little privacy. Excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Whoa. Squamethane torpedo prime. Squamethane torpedo away! It's a Squam miracle! Scoopiter is in your debt! Oh, great! Gassy one! And I can refuel it whenever you get low. Just give me a couple days' notice so I can pack away the burritos. No, oh, I'd give anything to see Squirt one last time. Your wish is my royal command! Dot. Wearing pants on your head? You laugh, but I'm a trendsetter. Next year, everyone will have pants on their head and a herring in their pocket. No, it's just that it's already lunch and nothing weird-tastic has happened yet. Triple Squatch, come in. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Frog in my throat. Triple Squatch. Oh, um, ah. Triple Squatch, come in. Shouldn't have had that chili. <laughs> Weirdtastic, here we come! <sighs> Spill, Armand! Who's the hairy lady? And why did she call your belly button? Hi, that's her! Enough interrogation! I'll talk! She's my arch nemesis, the evil spy, Abominable of her! I was master spy, Triple O Squatch, but I hung up my tux for good. You all came along on my last mission. We don't remember that. Because I wiped your memories with this multi-tool spy pen. Cool! Wait, have you done that before? Yo, Squatchy's here, and I'm here to say... <laughs> <I'm> not... <gasps> Happy birthday, Squirt! Never! And now, my apologies, but you know too much. Again. Drop in any time, Campbell. <laughs> Don't mind if I do, Tribulos. Go watch. <laughs> Abominable! Armand, what are you doing? I just told you, she's an evil spy. Oh, right. Gotta cut down on those memory wipes. I was an evil spy, but now I'm defecting so I can fight alongside the forces of Handsome. I'm not falling for that again. I speak the truth. My top secret brownie recipe is coveted by both sides of the fuzzy curtain and a big hit at bake sales. Oh, you better put that bake sale on hold, because we've got company. <gasps> they found me! Release her, you furry dish rag! <laughs> Shaping up, Armand turns out to be a top spy. Oh. Uh, with an arch enemy who's actually an old flame. Ah. Someone's gonna get burned. Yeah. Hi. You wanna tangle, huh? You got it. Ah. Ah. Look at those two. You're in perfect sync. Abominar, I could never trust you again after Bulbaria. Safe, thanks to you, tall, dark, and fuzzy. This spy stuff is so cool! Can't she?
she stay, Armand? Plus brownies, huh? No. Excellent. I shall set up a surveillance post to watch for enemy activity in Armand's cabin. <gasps> hey, Armand, can I see your spy pen? Sure, kid. Careful, though. It's a smoke bomb, grappling hook, ocular enhancer, toothbrush... <laughs> ...and novelty buzzer. Where are you hiding? I need to find you. Hi, Armand. Oh, oh! <laughs> I was just, um, sweeping for bugs. Yeah, don't you need a broom for that? Oh, you campers don't miss a thing. That's why I'm making you my intelligence service. Bulletproof sunglasses, awesome. No thanks, I brought my own. <laughs> this reminds me of Bulberia, the two of us snuggling by the fire, surrounded by a sea of robot samurais. Your robot samurais bent on my destruction. Speaking of destruction, jet power now! Three o'clock! <laughs> Campers. Ah! Uh, Abomina, you saved me. Of course, we're on the same team. Ah, uh, same team? Then where are their matching hats? They should match. I was wrong about you, Abomina. Perhaps we can start over. I thought you loved roses. Gullible triple or scorch, always the romantic. I should have known you'd never give up, villainy. We'll always have Bulberia. Watch it, Mr. Knuckles. Now, to find what I came for. Oh, Armand has caught a chill, so I'm off to make him some get well brownies. Can we have some too? Uh, yes, uh, but I'm missing something crucial ingredient X. It makes them explode with flavor. Follow us. We know where Rosebud hides her secret ingredients. Yoo-hoo! God! My knots are loose. Could you kindly tighten them? Clear. Bring in the baked goods. Closing on target. Standby over. Ingredient X. At last! The most powerful exploding chocolate in the world! <laughs> oh, tastes like chocolatey betrayal! I knew it! But you and Armand were in love! All's fair in love and espionage. Now, if you'll excuse me, it's time to blow your cap to smithereens! How dare you use blips for evil? They're just big, happy balloons! Oh, this is all my fault for trying to spice up Armand's love life. No, it's my fault for wanting to do cool spy stuff. No, it's my fault for... A actually, it was you two. Good thing I have a contingency plan. Oh! <laughs> Camp Lake Bottom will be a cocoa-flavored crater! <laughs> mm, sorry, Triple O Squatch, but once again, our love must take a back seat to world domination. <laughs> Something's biting my butt! <laughs> Aha! Gotcha! Look, more again! More again! So long, party crashers!
Memory wipe saves the day! Not for long. Agree to disagree. It's over, Abomina. Let's agree to disagree. Blimpido away! Uh-oh. McGee, I'm disappointed in you, Abomina. You could have had something. Please be a dead. Please be a dead. Please be a dead. Need a lift, Camper? Yeah. What about the Blimpido? Let's postmark it. Return to sender. We'll play Triple O Squatch until we meet again. We'll always have Bulfaria! Sorry, Armand. You were right about Abomina all along. Ah, forget it. Now, if you'll hand me my spy pen, I can help with that. Okay. Uh-oh. Well, now you'll always have Bulbaria. <laughs> Why am I wearing this unseasonable tuxedo? <laughs> Dear Mom, today I got to meet my all-time hero. Too bad he's trying to blast me into the stratosphere. <laughs> Captain's blog. Space date 369. We have crossed into enemy territory. Permission to remove fake ears? They're really itchy. Squirt. Uh, We're playing Space Scream. Uh, it's gonna be authentic. Uh, I'm Captain Sterling Starling, and you're Lieutenant Cabbage Boy, half plant, half human fur. Uh, uh, Avenge me, Captain McGee! Starling. And I'm Zombie Stomping Princess. Supposed to be mutant Mida from Space Cream Season 4! I'd rather be Zombie Stomping Princess. It's a way better show. Wash your mouth out with Proton 90! Space Cream is the greatest show in the known universe! What do you mean, lost? Excuses are for losers! It's Stankinator from Planet Butt. Shit blasters on Butt Kick! Space Attack! <laughs> butt Squad, out! I don't need to play Space Cream, Mick Wannabe. I was on the show. <gasps> no way! So cool! Bring on, on the, the space pain! pain! How is that catchphrase cooler than Zomp Stomp! Space pain! Oh, but there's more! <laughs> Bring it in! The actual Space Pedo from Season 3, Episode 13. Steve of Destruction. Space Pedo's from Season 4, Episode 20. When purrs the space kitty. Yeah, well, I have it, you don't. Know what else you don't have? Your own private sci-fi convention. Behold, ButtCon, where the actual real-life Captain Starling is gonna appear in the actual real-life Space Flash! <gasps> Starling, Starling, hero of the Rift Rebellion, Galactagorian Supreme is coming! Here, sweet geek! Paradise! Oh. Tell you what, McFanboy. If you want to see your hero, the line starts here. I'm first! Thanks, Bud Squad! You're so welcome to leave. Bud Squad better not see you guys. You're totally banned. That's odd. I don't remember posing for a photo with a big X on my face. Not bad. We should autograph those. Sis, you have to help us sneak in. Aw, oh, sorry, baby bro. Butt Squat's gonna get me a part on that dopey space show. He's practically best friends with the star. Captain, what's his face? Wait, uh, you know, Suze, nothing says superstar like a space entourage. No way. What are you supposed to be again? Space Buglies! Susie, what is this? The audition of my life! Your dorky space show is about to get a gorgeous new character! Hmm. Boop, beep. Yeah, well, 
Keep your lamoid Martians away from my star. Buglies! Cool your engines, Captain. Remember the mission. <gasps> the cave set from Bargainers of Bangor! That's of Zarganthian death goop from the TV movie A Healthy Balanced Diet of Doom! And most awesome of all! Oh, no! That's it! You're on your own! Captain Sterling Starling's chair! <gasps> Captain Sterling Starling! You know that's plywood, right? Whoa, sweet bracelet. <laughs> the Arm Polo 19 is in jewelry. Captain Starling uses it to deliver lunar justice. Look, butt squats on every poster. I knew he was faking. Hey, butt! Eyes on the prize, McGee. You still want to meet your hero, right? Then try not to get us kicked out till you do. Oh. It's him! <coughs> he even coughs heroically. Where's the snack table? Zombie Stomping Princess has way cooler catchphrases. Are you Captain Starling's dad? <clears throat> I'm Captain Starling, except no substitutes, fanboy. Here, have my garbage. Mmm, <coughs> famous garbage is delicious. Cabagraph? I mean, an auto star? Me? Premium ticket holders only, kid. McGeek! I knew your bug face looked familiar. <coughs> Remember me, Cap? I played the third rock door from the left in season three. I'll remember whatever you want, as long as you're paying, kid. <laughs> Any doofus knows rock dwarves are only in the Space Queen video game. You're gonna wish this was a video game. Cabbage Boy Attack! <laughs> I can't look! Zombie Stomping Princess has way better fight scenes. Happens at every convention. Out of the way! Captain, meet your new co-star. What have you done? He, he did, did it. it! You killed my career! All systems go, Captain. Captain Sterling Starling, calling Space Scream Command. Why is he talking to his wallet? This can't be good. Or could it? I awoke on the bridge to find my crew vanished. Cabbage Boy, praise Pluto, you're here, Leaf Ears. And us, hi, beep boop. Uh, beware, Captain. These stinky buglies and their evil spy can robot captured the ship and the Space Empress. <gasps> Not on my space watch. Your arm polo, Captain. Surrender the Empress, buglies. Oh, maybe. We buglies never surrender. McGee, he sounds serious. It's only a toy. Actually, my dad had some scientists make a real one. Now to bring on the space pain. <laughs> Captain, get in your robot sentry. <gasps> Eat space beam, buglies. Whoa. Just like the time a pulsar parasite took over the captain's brain! Only for real! Have you memorized every move Captain Starling's ever made? Yep! Ah! Where's my stunt double? Hey! That was my real hair! Ah! We're trapped! And since when does a Scream Fleet officer destroy aliens instead of befriending them? Bugley's got a point there, Cabbage Boy. This whole situation feels almost unreal. Uh, sensors indicate these are mutant buglies out to infest the universe. <gasps> Exterminate! Am I in this shot? No! Don't trust him, Cap! He's from the evil twin universe! His ears aren't even cabbage, they're lettuce! There's only one possible explanation. This is all fake. <sighs> I'm actually on Mesmeron, planet of illusions, and you're all mutants. <laughs> what a space dickament. To save the universe, I must destroy the planet. I'll fire the space pedo. Yeah, do it. It's aimed at Camp Lake, but uh, planet Bugly. It was good space screaming with you, Captain McGee. Relax, guys. 
There's no way the space pedo actually works. Actually, my dad had some scientists make a real one. Here we go. <laughs> Stay back, evil twin cabbage boy. What? No! One minute to ignition. But Khan's grand finale. Blowing Lake Bottom to space dust. Sweet! Not on my space watch! <laughs> Ready for my close-up? Hey! This costume's a rental! <sighs> Wardrobe. <laughs> Wait, Captain! The real Captain Starling would never destroy a species! And I'm not even a bugly! See? You're right. It's a trick! He's using a cloaking device! Cloaking devices are for ships. Yeah! Everyone knows Holorap is for disguises. And sandwiches, I'm assuming. Remember? Galactic Guardian Primo Order Numero Uno? To explore and protect all species, even the gross ones. You're right, Bugly. Ten seconds to launch. Come on, Captain! We've got a planet to save! Three, two... <laughs> the greatest Space Scream episode ever! I think I'm gonna call it Butt Kickers of Planet Awesome Bottom! Space Scream's not so bad, though it could have used 100% more zombie-stomping princesses. Whatever. It was an honor Space Screaming with you, sir. Of course it was, Buglies. I'm awesome. Keep bringing the space pain. Hey, wait! What about my part? You'll be hearing from my agent! <laughs> <laughs> Best butt con ever. Ah! <laughs>